Hello and welcome to Pabli Chat Flow. So Pabli Chat Flow is your all-in-one solution to all your WhatsApp communication. So in this video, we are going to talk about an amazing feature of Pabli Chat Flow that is team members. And by accessing this feature, you can share your Pabli Chat Flow account to all your team members to manage the chats and the flows very easily. So now to learn more about this feature in detail, let me all take you to my screen. Hello and welcome to Pabli Chat Flow. So in this video, I'll show you how to add and manage team members automatically assign whatsapp chats and set permissions for full access and read only users and also improve team collaboration for handling whatsapp conversations so now let's begin with the brief introduction to what is pabli chat flow so pabli chat flow is your all-in-one solution for managing whatsapp communication whether you need to send or receive messages organize contacts and templates or run WhatsApp broadcast campaigns. This platform makes it simple and efficient. So right now we are here on the Pabli Chart Flows dashboard where all the action happens. So now let's explore how to manage a team and work together seamlessly. Okay, so now here to manage your team, go to team queues section in the left side bar given over here. And here under team queues, you can see a team list option where you can see all the team members and the number of charts that are assigned to them. And once you're going to click on the team members, there you can see the charts that are assigned to them. And also here you can see the status of the chart that are assigned to each team member over here whether the chart is open, on hold or replied. Once the status of the chart is updated by your team members by clicking on this drop down menu from here where you can see the status options that are open, on hold, replied, closed or resolved. Okay so this was all about the chart assigned status. So this setup ensures that every WhatsApp query is assigned properly preventing delays and responses. So now let's go ahead and see the process of how to add a team member in your Pabli chart flow account. Okay, so from here you have to click on the settings in the left side bar given over here and here under settings you have to select team members. Now here under this team members you can see the number of unique team members that are added in my Pabli chart flow account and also the number of WhatsApp numbers that are shared with me. That means I have 6 team members in my chart flow account and I am a team member of one WhatsApp number. Okay, so moving forward and now here you can see points to remember that means here we need to remember these points before adding a team member. So now let's read the points. First is you can add multiple team members and can share multiple WhatsApp numbers with them. Second, team members will be able to chat in your account. Third, team members will have access only to shared WhatsApp numbers. Fourth, team members won't be able to delete campaigns. Fifth, team members will be able to access inbox. Sixth, team members won't be able to delete contacts. Seventh, team members will not be able to delete templates in your account. And lastly, team members cannot access any details related to sub-accounts of your account. Okay, so these were the points to remember. And now we are going to see the process of adding a team member. So here you can add the team member by clicking on this button as well and also you can add a team member by clicking on this top right corner button given over here. So I'm going to click it over here and here you can see a dialog box has appeared in front of me. So it says to add a team member enter the email. So here in the instruction it says enter the email address of the team member you want to add. Ensure the email is associated with a valid Pabli account. That means the person you want to add as a team member should have a valid Pabli account first. Okay, so here I'm going to enter a valid Pabli account email of my colleague. So here I successfully entered the email and after entering the email, you have to select the permission. That means from here we need to select the access level of a team member. So here if you select the full account access, that means it allows complete control over WhatsApp messages, templates and settings. And if you select read only access, that means it will only let them view WhatsApp conversations but does not allow them to send messages or make changes. Okay, so here I'm going to select the permission as full account access and after entering both the required details, I'm going to click on this add and by clicking on this, the team member is immediately added to your chart flow account and here under team members list you can see the list of all the team members over here also scrolling a little more down and here you can see the whatsapp number account shared with you here under this whatsapp number account shared with you you can see the accounts that are shared with you over here 
Okay, so once you add the team member, they are automatically added to the account and to access it, they need to go to their team member section. And from there, they will see the shared account listed along with an access now button in front of it. And clicking on this button will allow them to access the shared account instantly. Okay, so now that the team member is added, let's set up chat assignment rules. So now here to go to chat assignment rules, you have to click on the settings given the left side bar and from here you have to select chat assignment rules that is given under team members only. Now inside chat assignment rules, you can see the team member's email address, assigned win method and also you can find a setting called ticket assigned to. This setting ensures that incoming WhatsApp chats are automatically assigned to team members. You can also enable or disable this feature for specific team members based on availability or workload. Okay, so here to assign the chat to that particular team member, make sure you enable this ticket assigned to button given over here. Okay, so now you might be thinking that how are charts assigned? So Papli Chartflow uses the round robin method which distributes charts evenly among team members. Chart 1 is assigned to team member A, chart 2 is assigned to team member B and chart 3 is assigned to team member C. And this process continues with all the charts and team members. So the cycle repeats once all the members have received a chart. This method ensures that no single team member is overwhelmed while also keeping response response times fast. Okay, so this was all about the chart assignment rules. Now we are going to see how new WhatsApp charts are assigned and managed. So when a new WhatsApp message comes, it first appears in the inbox section that is given the left side bar over here and the chart is then automatically assigned to a team member based on the round robin rule. Okay, so here you can see a chart that I've opened and here on the right side you can see all the chart details. So here under general details, you can also see the chart owner. That means you can see the name of the person to whom this chart is assigned over here and also you can change the assignee from clicking on this drop down menu and you can select a different team member to assign this particular chart. Here you can see the status, here you can add the tag, here you can see the incoming status and the user status also. Okay, so this was all about the inbox and also the assigned chart is also visible in the team queue section under the respective team member's name. So when the team member opens the chart or replies, they can change the status of the chart and it will automatically get updated in the team queue section over here. They can change the status from new to opened or replied, closed or resolved. So this real-time tracking ensures clear visibility into chart progress and team efficiency. Okay, so this was all about our main Pabli Chartflow account or you can say our Pabli Chartflow account. So now let me take you to one of my team members Pabli Chartflow account to see how they can manage charts in shared access account. Okay, so now let's move to the team members Pabli Chartflow account. Okay, so this is my team members Pabli Chartflow account that I've accessed in a different browser to show you how team members can access their shared account. Okay, so this is the dashboard of my team members Pabli Chartflow account. And now firstly, I need to access my shared account from this account. So for that, I'm going to click on the settings given on the left side bar. And from here, I'm going to select team members. And here under team members, you can see two WhatsApp numbers are shared with this Pabli Chartflow account. So I'm going to scroll it a little down. And here you can see under WhatsApp number account shared with you, you can see two accounts that are shared with this particular user in her Pabli Chartflow account. Okay, so here I'm going to access my account that I have shared with this team member by clicking on this access now button given over here in front of my account name. So I'm going to select it. And here you can see I have successfully logged in over here and here you can see on the top that we have logged in, in a shared account. Okay, so this is the dashboard of the shared account and now from here I'm going to click on this team queue option given in the left side bar. And here under team queues, they can see all the charts that are assigned to them and also they can change the status of the chart from here once they have read and replied to the chart. Okay, so here in this team queue section, they can only see the charts that are assigned to them. Okay, so now moving forward and now let's move to the inbox. So the inbox allows them to respond to assigned charts immediately and they can access their inbox from this inbox option given over here in the left side bar. Okay, so moving forward, now here the team member can access the account as per their access level. If the account is full accessible, then they can send messages and manage contacts and also use templates. But if they have read-only access, then they can only view the conversations but cannot send messages 
or make changes. This system ensures that team members can focus on WhatsApp support without confusion. Okay, so this was all about that how your team members can access their shared account and also how they can see and reply to the chat assigned to them. Okay, so now let's move back to our Pabli Chartflow's main account. And now here I'm going to discuss some benefits of team management in Pabli Chartflow. First is seamless WhatsApp collaborations. The multiple team members can handle chats efficiently. Second is automated chat distribution. That means there is no need to manually assign the conversations and they are automatically assigned to the team members through chat assignment rules. Third is real-time chat tracking. That means status updates in team queue ensuring better visibility of the chat assigned to the team members. Fourth is faster response times. Round robin keeps things balanced and efficient. Fifth is secure role-based access. That means you can control permissions with full or read-only access for the team members. Last but not the least is scalable for any business. So whether you are a startup or an enterprise, this feature adapts to your needs and automate your WhatsApp conversations. Okay, so now let me conclude this entire video with some words. So now you know how to add team members, assign WhatsApp chats to them and manage everything inside Pabli chat flow. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more automation tips and leave your questions in the comment box below. So start managing your WhatsApp conversations more efficiently with Pabli chat flow. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.